Due to the evolutionary propaganda constantly being pushed by pop science, public education, mainstream media, museums, and the like, many people have been brainwashed into believing numerous scientific quote-unquote facts which have later proved to be totally false. For example, it has become a cultural stereotype to picture Neanderthals as subhuman bent-kneed brutes. However, the less-than-human status of Neanderthals is now being dramatically overturned, though the public remains largely unaware of that fact. Indeed, though initially thought by the majority of evolutionists to be a much lesser evolved being, based on new findings many experts now regard Neanderthal man as fully human. Even some museum displays that once depicted Neanderthals as apish subhuman brutes have now been updated to give them a very human appearance. This dramatic makeover is based upon evidence from paleontology, archaeology, and even genetics. For example, from the nearly 500 Neanderthal skeletons now recovered, fossil evidence clearly shows that they are not significantly different from anatomically modern humans. Although a Neanderthal's elongated skull shape and larger brain case is distinct, and its skeleton is generally more robust, neither of these two features is outside the range of human variation. As a matter of fact, such Neanderthal-like features are even seen in modern human populations. Archaeology also confirms that Neanderthals were 100% human. Undoubtedly, the most compelling archaeological evidence for the fully human status of Neanderthals, in addition to their beautiful sculptures, use of cosmetics, jewelry, musical instruments, and the like, is the ceremonial burial of their loved ones, a defining aspect of what it means to be human. If this were not enough, many Neanderthals are found buried together with other anatomically modern humans. While there are many examples of this, perhaps the most interesting site for Bible students is a cave in Israel in the Mount Carmel region. Here, in the very same area where the prophet Elijah called down fire from heaven and eliminated the prophets of Baal, three relatively complete Neanderthal skulls were discovered together with modern-looking skulls. As one researcher rightly concludes, that Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans were buried together constitutes strong evidence that they lived together, worked together, intermarried, and were accepted as members of the same family, clan, and community. In fact, later genetic analyses confirmed just that. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, that is human beings, were interfertile and interbred. Neanderthal genes are present in modern populations. According to the biological species concept, the ability to interbreed and produce fertile offspring is the defining factor of what a species is. Hence, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens are the same species. They're both human beings. Therefore, just as there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, there is also no difference between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. We are all one blood, and the same Lord is over all of us, and is rich to every human being who calls upon him. Thank you.